Hey, yo, there's a combat difficulty option? That's nice, though. Anyways, hello, one and... Oh, whoops, forgot something. Sorry about that. I had completely forgotten that I had both my fan and the AC run in the background. So I had to turn those off. Um, anyway, so, in the last episode, we made it to a freedom. Uh, and... We learned that all those kids who we played with at the beginning of uh, of the game, yeah, uh, have all become Sixers, just like they said they would. But Bernard has taken off, and then the Shadow Man, who we also heard about about uh, about in the beginning, because just yesterday I watched the first episode of this Let's Play, because I am drastically run out of videos to upload, so I need to record like at least five tonight to keep up. Um, yeah, turns out Shadow Man's real and probably has Bernard kidnapped. So now we're just going to keep exploring until we, uh, find either Bernard or the Shadow Man. And there's no music here for some reason. Uh, have you seen any kids? Alive? I thought I saw one running around here recently. A young lad. Boxy clothing. Nah, uh, that's my friend, you know. Can't really oh, we already did this one. Unfortunately, But you'd better find him quick. Before the Shadow Man does. <laughs> Everyone. Okay. Alright, where is it that we need to go? Oh, yeah, that's right. We talked to you. I guess it didn't fully save. Hmm? Leave me alone. I'm busy. Uh, so I, we're just gonna have to. Uh. Well, good luck with that, stranger. If there's a kid running around unattended, the Shadow Man probably has him by now. Uh, oh, you really are in over your head. Oh, you are clever, but I don't know him. If you stay a spell. The Shadow Man. He was born okay, in the time yeah. of the first. If he were. <laughs> Alright, so we've already seen all this last episode. Um. So it's just a matter of which way do we go? Uh, Streetlight Terminal. Oh, whoops. Or. Whatever this way is. Let's go Streetlight Terminal. It's probably down here. That's a bit jarring. What the? How did that not hit? Like, I'm not crazy, am I? There we go. Okay, one second. Your fucking time of the month again? I mean, Jesus Christ. This recording is already completely botched. Alright, let's see if I can get this right. There we go. Snuff. Are you kidding me? I did too. All right, so this episode is completely scuffed. Like, I don't know why. Like, so either... Like... 
And the, like, and like the worst part is, oh yeah, get over here, Daisy. And the worst part is, I can't even tell if it's me or my equipment, right? Because I can't afford to try any different equipment, or even a different computer, right? And maybe it's not even the type of computer, but just this specific one. Like maybe I've messed it up or something with. I don't know. About yay high? Let me think. Uh, this one? Oh, wow, even is that you? I'm so glad to see you. Can you believe that I'm stuck? Hey, Bernard. Get him out! Uh, what are you? Haven't you heard the bedtime stories? Oh, why is his voice different? I'm what goes pump in the night. I'm what comes for children when they roam a little too far from home. This is what I do. Or what I used to do anyway. Before this silly war. Alright. Uh, you think I'm afraid of you because I'm not? That may be true, but there is another truth. Uh, that unless you release Burn, I'm gonna punch you? That if you're not afraid now, you soon learn to be. Ooh. Uh, let Bernard go. He's mine now. I won't be letting him go. I believe you call that leverage. Also, I just noticed that, uh, uh, I just noticed that we have the doll, or at least a smaller version of the one we were going to give to our sister, strapped to our back. Uh, release him now, this is literally kidnapping, or please just give him to me. Uh, I think he knows it's kidnapping, so let's just... Sure. Please. No. No, I'm afraid that's not what I do. But I would be willing to trade. Okay. Skip the pleasantries. What will you trade for Bernie? Nothing you have, child. And I suspect nothing you can bring me. I'm tougher than I look. That remains to be seen. I like his voice. But perhaps you're right. I want the same thing all of us want here. Peace. I want the triplet war to end. Uh, no offense, but you don't strike me as the peace and flowers type. Oh, I'm not. I'm the creature that moves in the dark type. But people only truly fear things that move in the dark during peace. Okay. In war, they are surrounded by greater threats all day long. And so nobody fears the Shadow Man anymore. Life is a greater horror. Mm. And they have overindulged, forgotten me. If you want me to give you Bernard, then I want you to change that. You want me to end this war? How? I don't care how. I don't care about anything even. Except being feared by everyone again. I love his voice. I've watched you. I know you're a dice wielder. How, how do you know this is a dice? I've been around for centuries, even. I know more than your mortal world has forgotten. You alone carry the power to affect the arenas and those giant robots. Figure it out, or you will never see your precious Bernard or any other child I choose to take again. 
without peace, there will be no boy, no hope, and you will never see your sister again. How do you know about that? Uh... How do you know about Odd? For you, there are currently more important questions at stake. Go, even. Bernie's fate rests on your tiny shoulders. And my hunger won't be held at bay forever. Alrighty then. To save Bernard from the wretched Shadow Man, even had to end Freedom's civil war. It was a hard task, an impossible task, but she wasn't going to let her friend die. The first thing she needed was information. Perhaps some of the locals would be willing to share what they knew. All right, so there's something over in that direction. There's not much over here, so I guess we just gotta talk with everyone again. Except the fish man. Fish man has nothing to say. Neither do you, neither do you. You don't seem to have anything, but is there anything back here? There is. I don't know why we keep collecting this. Our deck is pretty good. Or at least, you know. Like, we... You know, we're going to have to wait to get more pips before we... Uh, I don't like the camera in this game. We're going to have to get more pips before I can even think about, you know, rearranging my deck. Right, so now where are the people I need to talk to? That poor woman. Completely mad. Have you seen Nishka? That poor woman. Completely mad. Mm. Has she moved? Oh, she has. Whoa. Why is it. Fascinating. Ah. Fascinating. Ah, that hurt my eyes. Alright, what do you got to say? Oh, I remember you. We've spoken before, haven't we? Earlier today, we spoke about the king of this land, remember? No, I don't... I don't remember much, and... I'm sorry, what did you want? How did this war start? Oh, with the children. The three children. They... They... Well, something happened. Uh, did one of the triplets murder the king? There were sounds from his chambers. Was someone with him? I was his bodyguard, and I ran to look, and he was supposed to be sleeping, but... But... <laughs> so I just realized something about her design. She has a bird cage on her head, but there's a bird on her head outside of the cage. So, is that like a reference to the saying, you know, like, like, the cuckoo's left the nest or something like that, implying that she's lost her mind? Uh, you've lost so much. I'm sorry, I just, it was such a shame, such a, uh, I'm sorry, I, I forgot what we were talking about. Like, I mean, it's possible Hello? that's... Do I know you? Sorry. It's possible that that's not what that's saying, but the fact that, you know, that's a nice thing about art. You can interpret however you want. That's how I interpret this, and in doing so makes this character's design that much cooler to me. Uh, I'd like to ask about the triplets. The children of the king. Such beautiful babies. They grew up into such wonderful young men and women. The duke, the baroness, and the count. Such a gift. The entire royal court was so... The court was so... I'm sorry, I... I'm afraid I don't remember. Uh, tell me about the Count. He's paranoid, capricious, and fearful. But his heart's in the right place. He once accused me of trying to assassinate him just because I tried to get him to finish his vegetables. We all had a lovely laugh about it later. <laughs> or at least, I think we did. Mm. Tell me about the Baroness. She's tough as nails. Tough as cannons, really. Duty-bound and haughty, but she can back it up. And woe be to those who cross her. 
Mm. She once aimed a cannon at me to stop me from giving her a bath. The only thing that impresses her is war. Mm, so that's... Uh, so... The Count's going to want an end to this war. The Baroness isn't wanting to go on do anything. So what's the Duke want? I wouldn't call him a glutton for life. More of a bon vivant. He loves all the finer things. He's baroque, decadent, you might say spoiled, but I'd say he's really more cultured. Okay. He once told me his goal was to eat every animal in the kingdom all in one single dish. He achieved it a week later and said the dish was as delicious as it was disappointing. Hmm. I'd like to talk about something else. Oh, that's very nice. You're a nice young lady. Can you remember something that could help stop this war? I'm sorry. I'm afraid... I'm afraid that these days I don't remember things as well as I used to. I have moments where I can see things so clearly and then... Poof. But there have been times where an object reminds me of things. Okay. an important artifact that reminds me of a person or an event. That could bring it all back. Can you find these objects for me? One for each triplet. That could bring it all back. Oh, and if you could find the murder weapon that killed the king, I could remember that too. I feel certain of it. Uh, how can I convince uh, the triplets to give me all four things? I'm sorry, find what? What were we talking about? Oh, if only I could remember. Uh, I'll return with those four things. Alright, so that's going to be our main objective for this area. Whoa! That platform reminds me. I'm supposed to warn travelers about something. I'm supposed to say something very, very important. Oh well. It's probably fine, and we should all stop worrying about it. Alright, her voice slightly changed, the volume went up, that was, um... Hmm. Ow. Oi, oi, looking to get an invincibility potion, are ya? Well, you've come to the wrong place. I've got cards, though. <laughs> yeah, the Duke's item. Lots of quests. Anyways, where was that one thing? Where was it? Cause we could see it earlier, the uh... Well, here, let's just take a look at the map. Oh, it's not there anymore. Huh. Oh well. So, I guess we got all the quests we need. Oh wait, here we go. If I could see her again... I tell her that I miss her. Oh yeah, that's, that's right. It's silly, but you never think of the people you care about until they're no longer in your life. All right, let's um. Let's see where this throws me. I think this is going to send me to the count. Yeah, because I rolled a three, so I think a three is the Count or the Duke. Because I think the Baroness is two. Who's that? Seeing the ease at which Dicey affected the world, even was surprised to find herself feeling a little bit frightened of him. How could someone so small and innocent contain so much untamed power? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's terrifying. I can't remember why I thought he was gross in the beginning. It suddenly felt like she had the world on her shoulders. Could she solve the mystery of the king's murder? So is that what... It's, it's the Count, ladies and gentlemen. The Count has won the Oh, yeah, I was right. So I guess that all that did was make them move. 
or push them back so I can get through no man's land. Uh, three dumb town square, the sword bridges. All right. We're in the trenches. The only thing I can't predict are the rolls of the queen's dark dice, but everything else I know. Hi there. I'm tea time Tootsie. I used to be our late king's master planner. Uh, the master planner is named Tea Time Tootsie. Hey, we don't choose our names. Our parents did. Oh well, the nanny Fortuna renamed me after my uh, well, previous master was murdered. I hear she likes tea. For every day, I watch the battles and come up with the most thrilling stratagems for the next day. All right. The only thing I can't predict are the rolls of the Queen's Dark Dice, but everything else I know. Uh, what's your secret? Observation, my dear girl, which leads to knowledge. Knowledge, to coin a phrase, is power. I just invented that saying right now. Here, let me give you an example. Every day the dice is rolled, and every day one of the colossus is moved. I noticed. Everyone noticed. But what everyone else has failed to notice is how the winning colossus brings most of the robots he commands with it, and that leaves the area behind safer to traverse. Okay. Do any triples use this information? Perhaps attacking from behind on the day the dice favors them? No. Only I see it. That sounds too aggressive for the Duke. You don't work for him, do you? By the order of Nanny Fortuna, I am not to work for either of them. Although All right. I would be interested in learning more about the triplets for observational purposes only. Tell you what, if you meet them, come back here and describe them to me. There'd be a reward in it for you. Hmm. I'll return with descriptions. Take care, tea time. But yeah, so Nanny Fortuna seems to be quite the pain. Anyways, who and what are you? Unlike the Baroness, you're too soft to cross the battlefield alone. I will escort you, little one, but only to places you have safely traveled before. You're not ready for anything else. Now then, where are we going? I'll just stay here, actually. Ah, I see you like wasting my time. Well, it's not like I'm doing much with it besides standing here. As you were. Okay. Also, I think he's a frog. He's either a frog or some kind of slime guy. Hmm. Speaking of amphibians, I've been watching so much Ninja Turtles lately. I'm currently... Uh, so, in the last, like, month alone, I've watched all of TMNT 2012. Everything but the movie for Rise of the TMNT. And now I'm watching the 2003 TMNT. Which, um... Honestly, really good. And one thing I've learned is that everything... Oh, shoot, what was that? And one thing I have learned is, uh, let's go with, all right, who is the scared one? Was it the Count? Let's do the Count first. Um, and one thing that I have learned is, uh, is that everything that happened, almost everything that happens in TMNT 2012 is, like, just a rehash of what happened in TMNT 2003. Which could just be a rehash Someone of the comics. Your ruin, uh, castle, your grace. <laughs> I swear, it must be my bloody sister, the Baroness, or my fancy pants brother who thinks he's so much better than me, <laughs> sending their assassins to smother me in my sleep. But this count is awake and ready for you. You hear that, assassins? Barely, but yeah. All right. <laughs> you want to trade your cards? I know you do. Yeah, not right now. But yeah, so this is actually a really interesting premise yeah. for. I love that guy. All right, what do you have to say? You love the count? You don't. He's great. There's definitely no downsides to the man. Everything he does is so grounded and normal. 
it's super normal to go even crazier because your imaginary friend Shmoo is missing. Are you in denial? Now that's something I'll absolutely deny. I definitely love the Count, and I'm not just saying this because I truly regret our leadership. I deny it! Okay, I gotta go. If we talk too long, someone might think we're conspiring against him, which again, it's great. Can't wait until the Queen rolls her dice, and it's our time to fight and maybe die for him again. It's so great and normal. Uh, also, what was that? Also, I should have asked about plush, but it makes no sense that I would know it's about plush. Like, you... Because usually when you say someone is your imaginary friend, you don't think there's a physical... Uh, like, at least for me, when I was young, if I had an imaginary friend, there was no physical thing attached to them. Right? What, what about you guys? When, if, when you guys had imaginary friends, were they attached to a physical object? All right. All right. Um. What's all right? That's run. Let's dodge again. That's dodge. Okay. All right. Okay, there we go. The final ace. That, uh, that's something to work with. Alright. It's been a while since I've done any combat. Alright, let's just throw the dice. See what we get. We got a three. All right. Um, let's pop one of these. A sword. A sword. Let's just use all of them. And when you break crystals. All right. Oh shoot! I forgot you can charge up attacks. I probably should have done that first. All right. Um. Man, I'm having trouble with the controls. Been playing too many different games. Okay, uh, I might die here. Yeah, definitely a possibility. Okay, yep, yeah, this is uh, not looking good, like, at all. What the? They even hit me that time. No, 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 no. It's not what happened. Let's try this again. Alright, I'm just gonna cut it here. Alright, so we've made some progress. We've gotten through the initial stage, so we're just going to let them in one at a time. Or, I guess, both at a time. Not what I wanted to do, but, uh... Okay, that uh, poses a problem. Oh, full hand? Alright, let's see what we get. Free bubble shield. I was gonna take that. Uh, let's grab one of these and. Oops, no. Ooh, nice. Let's put these right here. And uh, I guess I'll just uh, set them off. Shit. Okay. Okay. 
Yo, sorry for the ah no 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 my eyes my eyes my eyes are burning. Sorry for the lack of commentary. I'm just oh great, there's more, and we only got one that time. So let's uh. All right. Um, let's use one of these. And which one should we pin? We're doing pretty good on health, so we might not need a health potion in the future. Let's pin this, because being able to de decrease everything once for free is, uh, is, uh, pretty good. I just need to get better with the timing for everything. Alright, nope, I messed the timing on that up. Alright, maybe I should have taken that health potion. Come on, I need a weapon. That does not help in the slightest. I'm just gonna have to let it all go, which sucks. Alright, um. This battle is uh probably going to take longer, so I might I might cut I might just die. What, what we got? We ended up with a two. Uh, I'll take the free shield and the free decrease to everything. I think that lets me grab a bit of everything. So I'll grab one of these, one of these, and yeah, I'm gonna put a bomb right here. Did that get none of them? I'm sweating buckets. Not because I'm nervous, it's because it's summer. Or, at least it's close to summer. Spring, maybe? I, I, I don't know. Okay, come on, give me something good. And that's a one, all right. Um, yeah, we need both, so. Can we even hit this person? There we go. Come on. What? I dodged that. See, the best way to get it is on the upswing, which is sometimes hard to land. Alright. Can I hit them through the through here oh I can this is nice all right so let's just throw this and uh, see what we get 
Uh, we got a three, so let's... Let's pin this, use a health potion, and then get some bow and arrows. Nice. All right, now let's see if we can shoot through the bars. We can't, which is unfortunate. Just gotta keep dodging. Simple as that. Alright, that hurt. Oh, I can get them to hit each other. This that's a good strategy. Ah, no, 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 no. Alright, we got a two. So free shield. Health potion. Oh, that does not heal a lot. And a sword. Oh wow, this is gonna be a long video. Mostly because we got nothing done, but. Come on, almost got him. Alright, there we go. Darn it. Okay, nope. What? He didn't even hit me that time. I'm so close. Oh no. Come on, I'm so close. All right, um, I can try and finish him off with the bombs. I'm gonna pin that just for a keepsake. Are you kidding me? That got none of them? None of them hit him? I need a weapon or something that does damage the only good news here is that he's a bit easy to dodge all right I'll get a health potion Lincoln's not that helpful I'll pin this. Sure, I'll throw this on even though it's worthless. Come on. There we go. Okay, we're gonna pop one of these so we can use this for free, which means we can use this for free, which means we, no, I didn't, I clicked too quickly, I didn't mean to put the bomb there, 
Thankfully, that was all we needed. Okay. I'm not going to hit continue because I know if we hit continue, we're going to start talking with this guy. So I'm going to leave that for the next episode because this video is already 40 minutes long. All right. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, and yeah, like I said, we'll finish this up. So as always, stay safe, have fun, and have a great day.